Hey there, folks. Chuck here. Yeah, I went back to the flea market, and uh, unfortunately, again, the guy let me down with uh, his tales of 2,000 Matchbox cars, but he assures me that it is coming. So he's got my number now, and uh, I'm hoping he will uh, contact me when he makes contact with his 2,000 Matchbox guy. But uh, in the meantime, he had a new box with about 600 cars in it, so I dug through those and I'll show you some of my finds and I got a couple of really good ones that I'm saving to the end. But these are the ones that were in kind of the general bin. Uh, starting with this Maisto 300B. It's a fun car. It's not a great casting, but uh, it'd be a good background car or a car for like a crusher pile, something like that. And it's uh, a little different from your typical, uh, your typical 57 Chevy fare. Uh, if there's anything wrong with 57 Chevy. Uh, got this 63 Chevy Impala from Hot Wheels. So, it's a nice find. And it's the non lowrider version too. So, it actually almost looks stock. And it's got clear windows, which is nice. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels 40 Ford Dragster. Uh, not really one that was on my list, but, uh, you know, it's a fun truck casting. And I like all the different uh, custom bits on it. Got this uh, Plymouth GTX 71, yeah, Hot Wheels. Again, I got it because it had the clear window, although now I'm realizing it has an etched Hot Wheels logo in the back, but oh well. Uh, let's see, this is the 64 Chevelle, also from Hot Wheels. Uh, which is one that, surprisingly, I have not added to my collection yet, so it was nice to find one of these. And, uh, this is the Hot Wheels uh, 69 Dodge Charger. So it's good to have one of these with clear windows. And that's like the one real hiccup for me is finding cars that don't have tinted windows or yellow or green or some crazy color or red. Or uh, This is a no-namer, but it does say Fiat in there. And while it is a mess, it is still a Fiat. And it's weird and it scratches my ugly off-brand car itch. This is one I had as a kid, I think my brother has it now. Uh, it's the Matchbox 62 Corvette, I think. Yeah, 62 Corvette. Uh, yeah, we had this one and we had it in orange with the 11 on it. Uh, that one just brought a lot of childhood memories back. Uh, this one's a fun one. Um, I'm not a huge Camaro guy. I mean, I get it. I like them. They're fine. Uh, but I like that this one came with a roll cage and this one's kind of decked out for racing. So. Uh, Pick that one up. This is an old one, uh, the Tall Rider, or as I used to call it as a kid, the Tall Trider, because I thought the T was for both. And as a kid, I didn't know how words worked. Anyway, uh, just a nice little vent bit of vintage Blackwall era. Uh, along with this one, this is a later version of the, what is it called? Oh, um, well, it'll come back to me later, but this is the. Uh, car that is oddly based on the uh, Dodge Rampage Plymouth Scamp. But, I don't know, I just I got a thing for that one. As dumb as it is. Uh, school Bus by Maisto. It's way too small, but the guy's practically giving these things away. So, uh, this one I got just because it's a nice die cast metal engine. I don't know if this is. Is this one of the. It doesn't say. Anything about McDonald's on here, but it just strikes me as one of the like, like McDonald's type cars because it's feels very plasticky and uh, 71 Charger from Hot Wheels. I think I picked up two of these. Yeah, so it's just a good casting. It's really well proportioned, I think, and one of the few Hot Wheels where the back wheels are the same size as the front wheels. So. Got this really nice forklift. I don't know who the. It's a no namer, but it's like surprisingly nice. Like you actually got a see through grid up top. The, the this thing here is actually three moving pieces, so you actually get a decent actual lift off of this thing. So, and it's got a separate seat, see through steering wheel. Like. There's a lot to like about this thing. Give it better wheels, and it's a it's a darn fine uh, darn fine uh, forklift. Uh, this was fun. Is this Racing Champions Hasbro? 
56 Ford from, uh, I believe this was uh, Dale's, one of Dale's first cars. Um, so you gotta do it for Dale. And uh, just a good classic stock car body. Uh, I got this one. It's a no-namer, but it seems like it's, I think there, there's a Matchbox car very similar to this. It's the BMW. Um, this is Racing Champions, uh, just an old uh, truck series truck. So I'm not really a big NASCAR or whatever the NASCAR truck, I think it's sport trucks or something equivalent is, but I don't know, like that. there's a certain era of 80s and 90s that I, I still dig the look of, like this one, this is the Buick Stocker, I believe, from Hot Wheels, um, which I think is like one of the versions of last versions of the Buick stock cars. Um, this was interesting. This is a Nova car. Um, it seems very heavily based on the Majorette uh, Impala. Uh, and it's weird because it's very cheapy, but it's also a metal metal car. So, and I do love old sedans. So uh, another Impala. This is time it's the 6.4 Impala. More of a low rider type stance. Again, another nice casting because it's got same wheel size front and back, so it feels a little more stock even though this is lowered. But, and somehow as a taxi. Reminds me of the crazy taxi game. Uh, uh, this was fun. Uh, it's a no namer, but it is a Saab Sonnet. And um, so I just saw somebody recently did a, a custom Saab Sonnet on one of the Facebook groups, and I was like, oh man, I'd love to get my hands on one of those. But it was a, it was a much better casting than this one. It might have been a Corgi or something. But uh, that will do for now. Another stocker. I think this is the Matchbox uh, Ford Thunderbird stocker. Actually has Thunderbird embossed in there. So it's not a bad, not a bad design. Um, this one I've already got, but uh, I don't know. I just like this particular casting. And I don't know why, but it just speaks to me. Uh, this is the uh, old Hot Wheels Ford Bronco. What's missing the back part, unfortunately, but and it's also missing the glass, which is interesting. But um, it's got a good base on it. You know, it's a metal metal car, and uh, it would be a good good candidate for Gaslands or something. So um, this is a Matchbox. I think I picked up a few of these already, but they're just good to have, and they're a great scale. And there's a lot of a lot of nice detail on this this casting. So it's a little bobcat thing. See, here's another one. But, and this one's actually got like clear windows. Although I probably would replace these with uh, screening, which would probably be a lot more realistic. My cat is singing me a lie about getting his evening treats that he has already gotten. So this is a 58 Corvette from Hot Wheels. Um, there was a version of this that had a flip open hood and then they replaced it with a giant engine so they didn't have to do the flip open hood. But again, it's still a fun casting. I got a lot of Corvettes this round. Uh, this is the Hot Wheels off-roader. It's just a fun casting. And uh, again, great fodder for a Gaslands build. And uh, this one I picked up because this is just fun. And this is from the one of the weirder Hot Wheels tie-ins. <laughs> this is the Demolition Man tie-in, um, where they would release a mainline version of the car, the police car from Demolition Man, which is one of my favorite movies. Um, I picked up another one of these. I've already got one, but it's just such a fun, tiny little casting. I love this thing so much. It's even got little like windshield wiper streaks built into the windshield, which as a weathering person, I like. And there's a snorkel build in there. That'd be fun to detail out. So, again, pardon my cat. He he has no manners for voiceover cutting time. Uh, old Matchbox 944 Turbo. It's a fun casting. Uh, it's glass is in pretty good shape. The body is pretty beat, but that's okay. And um, you know, opening doors. Good detail on the interior. There's even detailing on the interior of the doors. So that's a good candidate for a custom. I got this again, it's way off scale, but it's a surprisingly detailed front Chevy casting. And it's got this interesting bar and uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one, but it spoke to me. 
66, I believe, Dodge Charger. Might be 67. Nope, 67 Dodge Charger. It doesn't have the little indicators on the top here. Oh, no, it does. Actually, you can feel there's a little rib there where the turn signal indicators would be. So that is the 67. Looks like somebody stepped on it. But Oh, well, again, a good, uh, good barn find casting candidate. Um, this one I got, it's a no-name NASCAR, but it's just kind of fun. And it says spam on it. And that's fun. Uh, this is the 63 Cadillac uh, hearse, which is fun. And it's Scooby-Doo themed, which is also fun. But it's hard to find this hearse casting with a uh, clear windshield. So pick that up. This is the Isuzu Amigo, which again, I already have this one, but these are getting harder to find, and this is a very much car of my childhood thing. So, when I see one, I try to grab it. Uh, this is a uh, Camaro Z28. Uh, this is just a good casting. A lot of weight to it. A lot of customization potential. And it's funny because it says blown Camaro 650 on it, but there is no blower. I mean, I guess it could be supercharged and hidden under the, under the hood, but... I think it's funny because there is a version of this that does have the uh, hood scoop coming through. Uh, Matchbox C3 Corvette. Uh, doesn't really specify which year, but it is a pre-78 and post-73. Uh, so somewhere in there. Uh, just a good casting. I like the proportions on this one, too. Um, Mercury Cougar, 69. Broken... Uh, Spoiler, but again, not really something that worries me that much. Uh, this one I got for the plow. I've got plans for the plow. But, and this one was fun. It's my first Whiz Wheels. I haven't picked up any Corgis before, and this one's definitely been uh, painted at least twice because there's orange and blue and green on it. And it looks like it's missing some stuff in the back. But, you know, that's not a big deal for me. I have a 3D printer. And... I could do all sorts of cool stuff with this, even with the windshield painted flat black. So I admire whoever it was that had the gumption to customize it, and I will do something fun with it. All right, time to get to the finale finds. Uh, first, I found a high raker in that pile, which is nice. It still works well. These were just really fun, I remember messing with these over and over. I had the Woody and I had something else. I can't remember what it was, but just love doing the rake on this thing. Ow. So, and it's actually in pretty solid shape. So like everything's there. The windshield's good. The glass in the back is good. Like it just needs a little love, but, and this one, Normally not too special, but it's in such good condition. I mean, it has a little scuffage on it. There's a little chipping, but this one is in such good condition. You can still clearly see all the metal flake on it. The tampos on the side are still, all, they're virtually perfect. And I haven't seen one this nice since I got one of these brand new. And I had one that was beat up and I had one that was in really nice shape and I tried everything I could to keep the nice one nice. But best blade plans of kids, you know. Uh, this was another fun find. Uh, this is a Johnny Lightning. I believe it's a, a Ford uh, truck. It looks like a Ford. And it's been heavily customized. It's got like, I think these are 65 Imperial headlights up front. Um, it's got nice wide walls. It's got, you know, rubber tires with the white walls. Nice, uh, uh, simple hubcapped wheels. So there's a lot of potential in this one. This would be a really fun one to either rat rod or heavily customize. Um, and this Corgi, another one that's kind of hard to find over here stateside, the Morris Minor, I believe. Um, yeah, him, him. Uh, just a fun find. It's a little big for 164, but uh, if you don't mind, it don't matter, as they say. Uh, and finally, uh, found this one new in the case. Got a really good price on it. Uh, this was one that was on my hit list, the 52 Studebaker with the flatbed and the trailer hitch. And it's got a really nice detailed hitch ball in chrome on it. 
just a really nice casting uh, all around and you know rife with possibilities for the kind of builds that I do so anyway uh, that was it just wanted to share some finds with you hope you're having a great day thanks so much for watching all of this and uh, as always want to thank you for coming along with me for the ride so until next time stay fresh cheese bags <laughs>